Monday or Tuesday. Earlier this week, we um, had some guys come and cut this hay, and it was the first time that this uh, patch had been cut, um, which I'm going to show you just in a little bit. Got some good footage of it. Um, it was the first time that they cut it. Uh, you know, we really need hay for the bison, and uh, so we can feed them out when all this uh, green grass is uh, dead and gone. And um, so what we did was is we contacted some guys who've been cutting hay around here um, as they make their rounds you want to try to catch them um, as they're moving all their equipment from place to place you want to try to catch them on their way from from one spot to another ours is, is not much I mean we probably cut maybe 10 to 15 acres um, but they came they showed up uh, they had three tractors and they buzzed it out in like an hour and a half then the next day the next day they came and they um, raked it and built it. And I mean, it was done in like two or three days total. And then uh, my stepdad, Kevin, um, as you'll see, uh, used a tractor and, and I drove the truck with, with my nephew Houston around in the trailer. And we, we got the hay hauled back up here and we got it stacked up. It up. And we ended up getting 33 bills of hay, which is a lot of hay for us. That's good. And, a lot of the hay turned out um, really good. Um, the type of hay it was, it's just natural uh, grass, a lot of prairie grass. There's some weeds in there because it's so late in the year, but that's okay. Um, you know, the bison, uh, they're not too particular on hay and you can feed them just about any range of hay. They, they like some others than, you know, uh, than they can pick from, but They'll love this hay. It's natural grass prairie hay.
so we got all the hay hauled in. Um, we've got 33 bales of hay. It's the first time that we've bailed that side of the pasture before. But um, this hay will get us through a long time. They get us through all the cold months. Um, you know, when this grass, it's already starting to die, we haven't had really good rain in about a month. And it's oh. super hot here. Oh, you had, there was some rain the other day. And, um, but, yeah. but the rain that we had in, in the spring and in May was really good. But it's died off a lot and it's super hot and dry here. Well, those grasses die off that we had. Um, all the good grass we had in the spring and got into early summer is all gone now. And the bison have grazed a bunch of it down. Um, so we've got lots of hay. Um, and this hay, we'll really start putting it out, you know, um, October, November, we'll be putting out a lot of hay and go all the way through um, the winter, you know, into the spring until we get that spring, those spring grasses coming back. Um, and they love, they love this hay. Um, they love the roughage and it's good for them. And it's nice because it's it, a lot of it's native grass that we have here from our own pasture. Um, but so this stuff will come in handy. It's so nice that you have it right here and you saw how we hauled it all in here. Um, we don't have to take it very far, but we have it. And, um, anytime that we need to, we can just get it right here. From our own stack so thank you guys for following i appreciate everything uh the comments that you guys have been giving very positive and and i love it my wife and i go through and read them and uh we try to respond to you guys so thank you for that and um check us out on facebook or instagram um, follow us on cross timbers bison on youtube if you'd like uh, thank you guys so much for following us along what's in there Hmm. Checking that bucket out. Well, you're mad because I don't have any cubes. Sorry. Is that how it's going to be? You're just going to walk away? Okay.